How's it going? It is all the news all the time. Yes, it is. And my name is Adam. And we're looking at some interesting news today coming out about Johnny Depp and uh, some jewellery. Uh, looking at jewellery, Johnny Depp's jewellery collection. Uh, plus, we're looking at uh, some possible rumours about the new Pirates of the Caribbean 6. You know I love a rumour or two about the uh, Pirates or even 6 about Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Is Johnny Depp going to be in there? Is it going to be Margot Robbie? Is it Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Is it me? Is it you? Is it the guy who sells burgers on the corner? I don't know. It could be anyone. Who is going to be the next uh, Captain Jack Sparrow? And uh, is anybody going to go and watch it if it's not Captain Jack Sparrow himself? Johnny Depp. The answer would be no. <laughs> They're not going to. Um, so let's have a little look at some jewellery while we're here. Johnny Depp's jewellery collection takes style notes from Jack Sparrow. Of course it does. Uh, his jewellery collection has been heavily influenced by his alter ego, Jack Sparrow. Uh, from gothic jewels to sparkling Cartier watches. Very nice indeed. Uh, Depp's taste for treasure is anything but conventional. Here we explore some of his most creative pieces to date. I like these necklaces. I'm not sure uh, what's going on here. Looks like some sort of Egyptian sarcophagus. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Uh, we've got some beads going on. We've got what like, looks like a curtain ring and some charms. These look like little chilies. Some uh, key going on. We've got an elephant. Uh, we've got something on a horse, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that. All sorts of interesting stuff. Uh, but the ring, I think, is the most important bit. How he wears, is there a picture of him? Yeah, he wears a lot of rings, as you know. And um, this one is quite famous. This is the uh, skull ring. It's a staple in Depp's jewellery box and has been glistening across the actor's fingers for three decades. Well, I mean, he first ordered a plain silver skull ring from celebrity jeweller Albrizio in 1990. Uh, Jim Jarmusch. Iggy Pop, Jonathan Shaw and Johnny Depp all came in, bought the same ring together. So we've got this little uh, group of four, Jim Jarmusch, Iggy Pop, Jonathan Shaw, Johnny Depp all came in together. Iggy Pop ended up putting it on the cover of his Skull Ring album. Wow, at the time, the foursome of friends has established the so-called Death is Certain Club and the rings denoted membership to the friendship group. He does this quite a lot, actually. He's got a shared uh, jewellery with the Hollywood vampires as well. They all seem to wear this necklace with a, a padlock on it. Uh, and I think that's the symbol of the uh, Hollywood vampires. Uh, but this is the ring from uh, Alfred Albrizio. Alfred Albrizio. And uh, it's got the symbol of the film The Brave on this side. And it's got a three on the other side. And these are garnets. And this is the plain version of it. I was looking up here. This is the website of Albrizio. Uh, yep. And uh, this is the ring itself. If you want to buy one, um, you can get it here. They, they do a lot of other stuff as well, but this is the Johnny Depp version. Custom sterling silver, or you can have it in gold. It's the Johnny Depp type, Jim Skull, cubic zirconia with garnet stones. $650, it's not cheap. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of money if you want to get one of those. There is a normal version. Um, if I go back to the home page, uh, there's a decorated version and a normal version for 300 without the um without the three and the question mark with the cross so that's 300 dollars, and it comes in hollow back or solid back which is obviously more silver that's iggy uh wearing it on there which i think is nice and here we have johnny depp there it is there so if you uh, want to get one of these the place to get it from is um albrizio Alfred Albrizio. So if you fancy getting that, I thought that's quite interesting. Looking at some uh, some rings. He wears the Hollywood Vampire one. I think there's two Hollywood Vampires ones there. It's quite nice as well. But what else is going on? Uh, we've got this crazy rumour coming out about Pirate 6 that this guy, uh, or no, one of these people from Stranger Things is going to be Captain Jack Sparrow. I know, I know. What? What even... What do you, this is from uh, Insider Disney, and uh, let's have a little look. Uh, Johnny Depp has become synonymous with Pirates of the Caribbean. In total, there have been five movies made in the franchise, all of which Captain Jack Sparrow uh, was the lead protagonist. And they are Curse of the Black Pearl, 2003, uh, Dead Man's Chest in 2006, At World's End in 2007, and On Stranger Tides, 2011. Uh, and of course, Dead Men Tell No Tales in 2017. Uh, but as Disney... <laughs> <laughs> looks to, sorry I shouldn't laugh but every time that I read the word Disney I'm like I think so many things and none of them good 
I think uh, I think it's going down down the pan. I think they, they don't know their, their ass from their elbow. I, I think there's a lot of problems going on with Disney. Hey, maybe maybe they'll get it together. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll sort themselves out. Um, I'm not I, I'm not optimistic. I'm not. It's uh, it's not looking good. Forty five percent share price drop in a year, and they've lost uh, billions over the year. Uh, but let's not dwell on the schadenfreude let's move on um disney looks to move forward with the franchise <laughs> it doesn't seem that johnny depp is in the plans see you see what i mean every single time disney don't know their ass from their elbow they do not know what they're doing uh so let's have a look pirates of the caribbean producer yeah the legendary jerry bruckheimer recently revealed he'd love for johnny depp to reprise his role that's because he's a sensible rational reasonable person as Captain Jack Sparrow. But he doesn't see it happening, right? <laughs> Multiple reports from insiders in the industry have noted that Depp is not is seen as not redeemable. Well, I don't know about that at all. In Hollywood. And this includes in studios owned by Disney. This company who is making the worst decisions ever in the history of its uh, existence and is in danger of being sold. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, what do I know? Uh, the question is, what do they know? Not much. Uh, if this is truly the case, Disney is still moving forward with the franchise, right? So they're going to go make a Pirates of the Caribbean film without jo Johnny Depp, right? Okay, good plan, dudes. Uh, several reports have indicated they may elect to go with a younger cast. So let's have a look at these uh, chances up here. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, Teen Wolf star Dylan O'Brien, who has been in rumours to potentially fill the role played by Johnny Depp, with a younger cast in the franchise, and now another name has come forward as potential for the cast. First of all, let's have a look at Dylan O'Brien. This guy, this is the guy from uh, the vampire thing. Uh, what's it called? One second, what's it called? Um, Teen Wolf. Uh, it's not vampires. Teen Wolf. So this Teen Wolf guy could be the new Johnny Depp. Um, I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> so is this is this Johnny Depp? I mean, are we looking at Johnny Depp here? I mean, possibly. Possibly. And who else is in the frame? Uh, Maya Hawke, uh, best known for her role as Robin Buckley, never heard of it, in the hit Netflix series Stranger Things. Well, that's actually uh, quite well known. Is reportedly in discussions to take on the role in the sixth instalment of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Let's have a look at her. Uh, hold on, she's uh, she's daughter of Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. So we've got another Nepo baby, one of these nepotism uh, people that everyone was frowning on so much a few weeks ago. So she's the uh, daughter of Ethan Hawke, there he is, and Uma Thurman, uh, there she is. So uh, yeah, she could be uh, in the film as well. I don't know, doing what? Uh, I do not know. Um, so we'll see about that as well. <laughs> we'll see. In addition to these rumours, there have also been reports Disney could move ahead with a Margot Robbie, Jesus Christ on the bike, a lead script. A Margot Robbie, who is uh, box office poison and uh, will close a, a cinema down faster than look at it. Uh, there have also been rumours Kira Knightley, well, she's nice, uh, could return to reprise her role of Elizabeth Swan. Uh, of course, nothing has been confirmed. And um, this all sounds appalling to me. <laughs> it all sounds appalling. It really does. Um, foolishness from Disney, yet again. Uh, yet again. I mean, you might start thinking they're doing this deliberately. Uh, maybe they've got some sort of bet on how quickly they can destroy the company. And uh, they're doing well. But Dylan, uh, what's his name? Dylan O'Brien, Team Wolf guy. Um, <laughs> he's got some fuzz face going on. Um, possibly. I mean, he's, uh, this is the new Captain Jack. Is he stumbling around going, here, I'm Captain Jack, ah, Captain Jack. Uh, <laughs> and have we got some Nepo baby, uh, Maya Hawk, in the frame as well. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I know what your thoughts are going to be, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, to the question, uh, can you have a successful Pirates of the Caribbean 6 film without Johnny Depp? I know, I know your uh, answer, so you don't need to write it down. Thank you very much. Uh, moving on, uh, what else have we got? The many terrible wicks of Johnny Depp. Let's have a little look. Uh, sometimes I just amuse myself. And we've got some, that's not Johnny Depp, so don't even worry about that. So we, I want to vote. Uh, can you pick the worst wig from, from Johnny Depp's career? Let's have a little look. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory wig. I mean, with the fringe, it's not a good look, is it? I mean, it's not. He's great in the film, but that that is just. Uh, okay, so we've got, We've got this. I, I can't see it myself. I can't see it myself. As a straight guy, it's not good. 
<laughs> it's just not good. Moving on. Um, this kind of reminds me of Spinal Tap back in the day. Remember of Spinal Tap? Of course you do. Um, what do you think? Is this is this the best wig out there? This is bad as well. I mean, it is. It just is. Um, if you've got the old male pattern baldness going on, then uh, there you go. But uh, yeah, I'm st I'm still not sold on that. This I kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> ZZ Top, <laughs> this gigantic um, desert biker ZZ Top look. I mean, that's okay. Uh, dark wigs. I actually quite like this one. Uh, I was looking at this one. It, I, when I see the stills and the uh, continuity images, it's always one, two, three, four, five, six. And this central one is always split into two. So this is very precisely organized. And every single shot, it's always one, two, three, four, five, six with this one split into two. Uh, but is that your your favourite appalling wig or nice wig. Let's have a look at this one. Um, nice. I mean, nice. It's like long, straight, dark hair, which I quite like. Quite like. And what have we got? <laughs> I actually quite like this as well. This is kind of funky. Um, not sure about the, the tash, but I like it. Uh, no, I don't like this. Um, it just looks chaotic, but that makes sense because he's got scissors and not a comb. <laughs> We should have a comb. I and mean, this could be practical if you had a comb, maybe some scissors, a fork, um, tin opener. Uh, what else we got? This is terrible. This is just terrible. It's like, uh, that's just that's just terrible. Is it terrible? Yes, that is terrible. And, uh, well, this is nice. This is like, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. No problems with that whatsoever. Um, I look at this, I think to myself, it needs a wash. Um, I used to work on a ship and uh, yeah I mean, I mean it needs a wash I bet it smells like seawater and stuff and that's not the best in my personal opinion and experience <laughs> I always find if things are matted up and they get wet with seawater they don't ever smell normal again uh, unless they're given like a good uh, solid wash uh, this is good as well can't go wrong with this this is great uh, that's fine and uh, that's great uh, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, which is the worst of the wigs? <laughs> yeah, that's quite good. That's terrible. Uh, yep, that makes sense. Uh, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm, that's quite nice. Uh, yep. And, <laughs> and no. And spinal tap. And no, not even with ten beers. And that's some sort of weird uh, fringe thing. And there's that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know your thoughts, uh, your hopes, your dreams, and ambitions, and uh, yeah, uh, not sure about that, and skulls, and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, like and subscribe, more movie news coming up, and I will see you guys later.